Good morning, Trojans. Hope y'all had a fun Halloween weekend. It seems like the fall weather is finally here. Tomorrow is the first Tuesday of November, which means it's election day. Tomorrow, millions of Americans will be casting their votes for who they think should be the next president and vice president of our country. The race is down to these two candidates. Republican incumbent Donald Trump and his vice president, Mike Pence, and Democrat Joe Biden and his vice president, Senator Kamala Harris. If the name and face looks familiar with Biden, it's because he served as vice president for eight years while Obama was president. Many have already voted, including some of our teachers here at Ash, through the early voting process. People can vote by mailing in ballots or going in person. According to a survey conducted by election officials in all 50 states, CNN, and Edison Research, more than 75 million people in the U.S. have already voted. That's more than a third of registered voters. That number has increased. Back in 2016, during the last presidential election, there were 58.3 million early votes cast. News outlets are reporting that the reason for the increase is mail-in votes because of coronavirus, and there has been a higher participation from qualified voters. Even here in Louisiana, there's a record number of early voters. It's been reported from Governor Edwards that over one million people have already early voted in the state. These statistics are showing an increase in voter turnout, and tomorrow, many more people will be casting their votes at the polls. We had the opportunity to speak to a few of our students who have already turned 18 who are looking to vote for their first time this year. We also talked to Mr. Rudd, who teaches many of our government classes, and he gives us some insight into why our election process is important. Voting is an important civic duty because it's a right that not all Americans have had for our country's duration. It's making your voice heard. It's your ability to vote for candidates to represent your interests. It's important to vote so that you can have your own opinion and make the changes that you want to see in the world and have a voice. Um, voting is important because even though there are millions of eligible voters, not all of them vote. And as we have seen in previous elections, such as the 2001 one, George Bush only won Florida by 600 votes. It's also, I believe our country works best when more people vote. Um, it's critical to vote in our generation now, um, just due to the circumstances that our country's in. I've heard a lot of people say, well, what's the point in voting? Because, you know, they don't like either of the candidates. But I feel like either way it's important because, again, our ancestors fought for it. So what are the requirements to vote? Here's a few things that you need to know from USA.gov. You must be a U.S. citizen, meet your state residency requirements, must be 18 years old before Election Day, and registered to vote before the deadline. Your right to vote can also be taken away if you have a felony conviction. Some of our students explain why they take this right seriously. I feel like my vote definitely counts, especially even if it's just to me, because um, I feel like if people don't vote, then no matter what, their voice isn't going to be heard, and I feel like they can't, they don't have the right to complain about policies or anything that's been passed in law because they didn't give their own voice. I feel like my vote counts because voting isn't just about presidential elections, we're also voting for state and local offices that directly affect us and our families. I think everybody's vote counts. People don't realize that, they think they're just a drop in the bucket, but drops in the buckets add up. I tell them it's important. I've actually had some students register to vote in my class this year. I know several of my students are excited uh, about voting for the first time. With all of the information available to us through news outlets and social media platforms, people are showing a greater interest in the election this year. People also vote for the candidates that they feel will best rep represent the issues that are important to them. Pro-life is important to me. Um, someone who will keep the foundation of America and not change it to where we don't recognize it anymore. I feel like social and human rights as well as environmental justice are really important issues that the country needs to address more clearly. I think we should be able to have our guns and keep them. And then uh, taxes, tax cuts. I think we should have tax cuts across the board, uh, big or small. I think everybody would benefit from that. Um, I look for in a candidate kind of the same beliefs that I have, kind of that like everyone should have the same like rights and like the same ability to like do whatever they want in the world or not anything they want but have the 
the opportunity to pursue like their passion. Some students are certainly more informed this year and following current events a lot closer than perhaps some seniors have in years past. I watched the debates and read up on the media, the ones that I thought were true, um, and talked to people that I trust and value their opinion. I researched the candidates that I thought I'd vote for and then researched their opponent to see like why I wouldn't vote for them or why I would vote for them and make that decision. I definitely tried to talk to people who weren't too one-sided um, and they definitely gave me a standpoint of how the way I vote can help in years to come and my future more because I'm so young. For months, we've seen all of the media outlets covering the primaries, debates, town halls, and interviews. Tomorrow, the people will decide. We encourage all of you to watch the election coverage and talk to your family and friends about all of the issues the candidates have responded to. Hi, I'm Paige. And I'm Avery, and we're giving you the FCA Encouragement of the Week. We encourage you to strive to love and help one another, even though we have different opinions on this election. John 15, 12 says, Love one another as I have loved you. We encourage you to show a random act of kindness to someone this week. Thanks, FCA. Even though people will disagree on policies and candidates, we're all still in this together. We'll end the show today with some pictures of our teachers and their voting stickers. Have a great week.